Hello and welcome all. I am Ajul Pratap, a PhD student working with Carlos Canuda Savit and Federica Garin at Dipsa Labs in Abel, France. I am going to present our paper, Average State Estimation in Presence of Outliers. The motivation behind this work is that in some network control systems, there are a limited number of sensors. So some states are measured and the rest are unmeasured. And it is also not always feasible to estimate all the unmeasured states using the measured state. In such cases, some aggregation such as average of the unmeasured states can be estimated. For an example, in the paper, average state estimation in large scale cluster network systems, the authors investigate the problem of average state estimation. And in these two papers, the authors propose some observer design to estimate such an average. This approach is very beneficial in terms of reducing the complexity. However, if there is an outlier among the unmeasured states, then we might not obtain the desired average value. For example, in power distribution network, if one wants to estimate the average household consumption of an area using sensors deployed in some households only, but there is a major consumer whose consumption is not measured directly. In that case, one might, one might not obtain the desired value as its high consumption might affect the average significantly. Instead, one might be interested in the average consumption without this measure, without the consumption of this measure consumer, or even localizing this measure consumer. So, therefore, our in our work we consider a network control system where some states are measured and the rest are unmeasured, and there is a unique outlier among the unmeasured states. And this outlier is such that its value differs from all the other states by such a large value that their average value changes significantly. And our goal is the localization of the outlier and simultaneously estimating the average of the unmeasured states excluding the outlier. And this we do through a bank of uh, a bank of observers and a method which we will explain later. We'll see problem setup and then we'll see the case where outlier position is known. In that case, we'll do only the trimmed average estimation, and then we'll see the case where outlier position is unknown. For that, in that case, we'll do both the localization of the outlier and trimmed average estimation. We consider here we consider a network represented by a weighted directed graph with a continuous linear time invariant dynamics, and where the state trajectories are bounded. We rearrange the states in such a way that the first n1 states are measured and is denoted by x1. We do the partition of the state x in x1 and x2, where x1 belonging to Rn1 are the measured states, and x2 in Rn2 are the unmeasured states. And corresponding to this partition, we have the block structure of the matrices A, B, and C. Here we give a network control system with uh, 10 nodes, where the Measured nodes are denoted by green circles. Unmeasured nodes are denoted by red squares. And there is an outlier at node 7. We use this example to illustrate the effect of the outlier in the averages. And also, we will use this same example to illustrate the results later. Here in this figure, we will plot the straight trajectories of, uh, straight trajectories of the network. We can see that the value of the outlier is very different from the other state. And in this plot where we, in this figure, we will plot the average with and without the outlier. We can see that because of the outlier, there is a significant difference between the average without the, with the outlier and without the outlier. So our problem statement is using the measurements X1, can we reconstruct the average of the unmeasured states excluding the outlier by designing a scalar and a tunable observer? And if the outlier position is unknown, can we localize it and obtain and estimate the trimmed average simultaneously? So first, the case where outlier position is known, by CJ, we denote a vector of all ones, but zero at the j position, and QJ equals one by N2 minus one into CJ, and by X2 J AV, we denote the average of the unmeasured states, excluding the jth element, 
in the state of unmeasured state. And by JO, we denote the true position of the outlier. And our goal here is to design a scalar and a tunable observer to estimate the clean average. This problem has been studied in the paper scale-free estimation of the average state in large-scale systems. There, where the authors give uh, exist uh, the uh, an if and only condition for the existence of such an observer. The condition is that QJ transpose A to two and QJ transpose must lie in the in the row space of the block matrix A one two. Once our system satisfies this condition, we give uh, this we give the design of the observer given by the system and the gains are computed as computed using this set of equations. So in this case, the outlier position is known, that is A equals to one. In this case, we do only the trim that is estimation. And we can see that the estimate obtained from our observer converges to the original original trim is very quickly. So our goal here is obtained. Now we proceed to the case where our outlier position is unknown. In this case, we deploy a bank of N2 observers where each observer estimates the average of the unmeasured states, excluding one of them. And once we have the estimate from the bank of observers, we compare them using a dissimilarity criterion and using and then using a simple optimization, we obtain the position of the outlier and the average excluding it. So a bank of tunable and scalar observer to estimate the streamed averages for all J exists if and only if the block matrix A12 is full column rank matrix. And we call that A12 is of dimension N1 cross N2. So the condition one implies that the number of measured states must be greater than or equal to the number of unmeasured states. And also, that for every unmeasured node, there exists an edge pointing to some measured node from the unmeasured to measured. Once we have the estimates from the bank of observers, we compare them using a dissimilarity criterion. D is a dissimilarity matrix where whose each element is an integral of the difference between the estimates with a forgetting factor beta. Now recall that we consider a system when the we consider the case when the system has a unique outlier at JO. That is, there is a significant difference between the trim average excluding a non-outlier and the trim average excluding an outlier. Here in this figure, we plot the original trim averages. So can be seen here. So since the outlier is unique for JK not equals to JO, the difference between the stream leverage excluding an outlier and the stream leverage excluding a non outlier is very large. But the difference between stream leverages, trimmed averages excluding two non outliers is very small. And since the estimates obtained from our observer converges to the original averages except for initial transient, the same property holds for the estimates. For this reason, we can say that J hat O is the estimated position of the outlier at time T if J hat O, if the J hat O its row sum of the matrix D is the highest at time T. And once we have J hat O, we have the required trim average estimate excluding the outlier. Here we present, the, uh, here we have the same, we illustrate this result using the same network example. And the knowledge that JO equals to one, that is the actual position of the outlier is unknown here, and we have to localize the outlier. So seven at nine, 10 are the unmeasured nodes, and at seven, J equals to one, at eight, J equals to two, at nine, J equals to three, and at 10, J equals to four. So here in this figure, we can see that in uh, JO is the actual position of the outlier, and J hat O is the estimated position of the outlier, and indeed our method identifies the actual position of the outlier very quickly. And there is a delay in the localization because of the delay in the convergence of the estimated position to the original estimated averages 
to the original average. In this figure, we can see the estimated trimmed averages obtained from the bank of observers, and the dash start line depicts the trimmed average excluding the detected outlier or the estimated outlier. It can be seen that the difference between the estimate, estimated trimmed average excluding the non outlier is very small, whereas the difference between the estimate excluding an, a non outlier and estimate excluding an outlier is large. And we also see that at first we have x hat 2 for AV as the required trimmed average excluding the outlier and 4 is identified as the outlier in the beginning but very quickly we have when we have the correct outlier we have x hat to 1 av as the the trim average ex excluding the outlier which is the actual one therefore we can say that uh, the both the goals is obtained here that is uh, localization of the outlier and estimation of the trimmed average excluding the outlier so the conclusion is we gave a method for localization of the outlier and estimation of the average excluding it for that we give a design of a scalar and tunable observer and a condition under which a bank of these observers can be designed and for localization we give a dissimilarity criterion and in future, we would like to work on the case where the system matrices are partially unknown as the outliers can be a result of localized fault. And then there, there is case of multiple outliers, which can be worked on. And also the sequential method can be investigated in order to reduce the number of observers required for localization. Thank you very much for your present hearing.